The name Algeria derives from the name of the oldest continuous settlement and modern capital of the world, Algiers, a port city strategically situated with links to Europe and the Middle East. Most of the country's population is located in the north, while the majority of the Arab population identify with the common Algerian culture. The Berber tribes retain more of the indigenous Berber culture and identity, particularly in the more isolated southern mountainous and desert regions. The initial inhabitants of the area were the Berbers. The Phoenicians, whose kingdom included the region which is now Lebanon, were the first invaders. They began establishing ports along the Mediterranean in 1200 BCE. In the east of present-day Algeria, they founded the towns of Constantine and Annaba. But apart from teaching the Berbers how to grow crops, they maintain their distance from them for the most part. How do Algerian politics work? Firstly, Algerian politics have begun ever since their independence, which is in 1962. Since then, there have been political imbalances and also political stability. Algerian politics are governed by military domination back then. However, since the early 80s, the country has faced riots and also changes because of military operation. This has ruled the people of Algeria to end the one-party rule and open to a number of political organizations. Algeria uses a presidential structure in their political system. <clears throat> Most of their presidential decisions are controlled and governed by the military apparatus. Then, the country's legal system are based on European traditions, but in civil and family law, are occur in Sharia basis and also Islamic law. Couscous, steamed semolina wheat with lamb or chicken, cooked vegetables is the national dish of Algeria. Chorba, a spicy soup, dolma, a mixture of tomatoes and peppers, and burek, an Algerian specialty, are other popular foods that you can find in Algeria. Next, most marriages in Algeria are arranged by couple's parents or a professional matchmaker. Women still have the right to child custody and to their own dowries. Fun fact, it is still normal for Algerian women to have between 7 and 9 children. Family loyalty is more powerful than any other bond or obligation according to the Berber tradition. The husband and his wives and their children continue to live with the parents of their husbands in Algeria. Furthermore, the Algerian culture was largely destroyed during the French dictatorship in an effort by the colonizers to supplant it with their own. Hence, after independence, the government has made an effort to improve the native Berber, Arabic and Islamic community. Moreover, many Algerian authors rely on both the influence of European literature and on storytelling in the ancient Arabic tradition. Another fun fact, Arabic music is synonymous with the tradition of storytelling and often recounts tales of passion, honor, and kin. Last but not least, Algerian films both inside the country and abroad have recently received accolades. Many of them are dramas and documentaries concerned with colonialism, revolution, and social issues. Algeria demographics shows diversity and differences in their account. The country has their statistics including population density, race, and religion affiliations. For population density, 45% of Algerian people stays in the urban area. Meanwhile, the overall Algerian stays in the mass land of the country along the Mediterranean coast. In terms of religion perspective, 96% of the population practices Sunni Islam. The other percentages are with Shia Islam and Christianity combining of Protestant and Catholic believers. Moreover, from the age factor, the highest percentage goes from the range of 25 to 54 years old. Meanwhile, the lowest percentage are given the range of 65 years old and above. In a nutshell, Algeria demographics are optimum and balanced for a country to run. 
country's population is estimated to be 44.2 million, in which is considered to be one of the most populous countries in Africa. Algeria's population growth rate can be described as one of the highest in the world. The average Algerian woman produced 7 to 8 babies from the mid-1960s to the mid-1970s. The birth rate in urban areas was lower than in rural areas. In 1990, the total fertility rate dropped to 5.1 children per woman. Since 2000, population growth has continued to suppress 1 million births in 2014 and hit 1,067,000 in 2000. 2016 and 1,060,000 in 2017. The government intends to reduce the fertility rate from 3.1 births per woman to 2.1 in 2050. Algeria's population will be 62 million instead of 72.4 million. The decrease in the rate of reproduction would help the government to cut spending on health, education and other sectors and will enable people to enjoy greater autonomy and a more prosperous life. Let's talk about the main industry. Algeria's economic activity is mainly focused on the oil and gas sector. The country has the world's fifth largest reserve of natural gas and it is also the second largest exporter. Other than that, it also has the 14th biggest oil stock. Other industries in Algeria Research and alternative energy sources Algeria has invested an estimated amount of 100 billion dinars towards developing research facilities and paying researchers. This development program is supposed to advance energy production, especially solar and wind generation. Algeria is estimated to own the biggest solar power potential within the Mediterranean, that the government has funded the creation of a solar science park in Hasirumel. Agriculture Algeria's agricultural sector contributes roughly about 8% to the country's GDP. However, it nearly employs 14% of the proletariat in 2010. Thanks to the realm spanning the Sahara, only 3% of the country's land is arable. Major crop produced include barley, potatoes, and wheat. These also are produced specifically for exporting. of natural gas reserves in Algeria. These reserves are measured at 2.9 trillion cubic feet, which is the world's 10th largest. Algeria's natural gas producer is Sonatrach. Algeria is one of the world's largest producers of oil. Oil was first introduced in 1956. Commercial oil production started in 1958, and Algeria became a member of OPEC in 1969. Algeria has an estimated 12.2 billion barrels of oil reserves and produces 1.1 million barrels every day. Oil is Algeria's main source of revenue. Algeria each year receives nearly 3,000 hours of sunshine. The country is expanding its solar power industry. It is a source of renewable energy that is environmentally friendly. Algeria has rich deposits of iron ore, particularly in the country's southwestern area. They produce 4.2 million tons of iron annually during 1970s. Non-fill minerals have been widely used as raw materials for domestic processing. Algeria has about 21% of the world helium reserves. In 2006, the country produced an estimated of 13% of all helium used in the world. In various fields such as medicine, aerospace, military, and science laboratory, this specific feature has diverse uses.